to me. Alright, so your boy Chili, you already know I'm out here at Castile to check out Castile vs. Verado. I needed to see my guy Logan King get loose. Uh, had a monster first week, and you know what? Verado Vipers, okay, they're back. They got a new coaching staff intact. Jumpers today are Jeff Agard and Carl Chinnam. Let's give them a big hand. Uh, Coach Newcomb got this defense looking kind of right. They put that fight up versus Centennial week one, and I want to see what this Castile Colts team is all about. Dane Christensen, Dalton Card, Brock Dew, they tough, and we're about to find out. Make sure you guys subscribe, JustChili.tv, Arizona Varsity, at JustChili, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Hey, how long is it going to take to see your boy Logan get loose, man? I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I feel like Castillo saw the film last week and saw he went for over 300, so um, I'm sure they were ready for I that. mean, it, seemed like, it definitely seems like they got the recipe to slow down Logan. Um, are, anything that surprises you from what you've seen out there from your old team? They're fight. I mean, they're fighting. Hey, I think the new coaching staff definitely has something to do with that. What about your man, Conrad? He's, he's a baller. That was a baller. Um, I mean, he's like the leader of the defense. Him and Kyle Noble out there just trying to get him right. Uh, they're doing a good job right now, holding him to eight points in the first half. That was... what, what do you expect to see in the second half? Uh, for Brado to win, they got to keep him there. They got to they gotta have a good time of possession. They need to run the clock, throw the ball, get first downs, move, drive the ball downfield, and they need to keep doing what they're doing on defense. And off the number 20.
they all get playing time out there. They did what we asked them to do. Uh, we were down. We went down 24 to nine late in the fourth. Came back, scored a touchdown, made it a one-score game. Uh, just really proud of our guys. Got to get ready to go. Uh, we got Williamsfield next week. After the monster first week that you had, you guys kind of came out sputtering a little bit. How do you expect to fix this for next week's game versus Williamsfield? So we got a lot of minor fixes that we need to fix in order to be successful. Um, our line, we had a good game plan this week. You just needed to do a better job executing. First home game, so we're looking forward to that. So we'll be all right. All right, man, I know you got your uh, big junior year, but I need to know how you're doing in the classroom. What are some of your favorite classes right now? Um, I really like my math class, Mr. Show. It's my favorite teacher right now. I love math. Hey, because we got to calculate them yards up at the end of the season and figure out, you know, how many yards you're getting per carry and all that good stuff, right? Yes, sir. Hey, man, hey, this seems like everybody want all the smoke with you, man. You get that Oregon offer, man. Talk to me a little bit. What, what's it like out there? I see number eight going at you with heavy. It's all about competition, you know? Just got to play for the guy next to you, you know, got to give props to Dane, you know, he held the game together, he's a good leader. Uh, got to give props to our running backs and our receivers, you know, doing a good job. And I'm proud of the next guy who stepped up because we had a, you know, we had an injury in the first quarter. And I'm just proud of each of my guys for just working hard and grinding. And speaking of which, you got a whole bunch of new, new names and new faces and a whole bunch of new, uh, new places and stuff. New quarterback, new running backs, new wide receivers. What's the transition been like over here? Uh, you know what? We got a really good culture down here at Castillo. Went through summer ball, put in a lot of hard work, a lot of, a lot of bonding time. There's some rough patches in spring ball, but when we got to camp, that's, we, we just really came together as a team and you know, we're just progressing, climbing that mountain. Oh, John's looking kind of thick over there. I see you doing all these push-ups. Is that like kind of your way of going to war with your guys? You know, for, for us, we have, we have a standard on our team and if we don't meet that standard, then uh, we, you know, we gotta do push-ups. So, you know, there was some- And you're not immune. I'm not, no, no one's immune. No one's above the values of your football team. Fair enough. I want to talk about the development of a few uh, situations here. Uh, the relationship with Dan Christensen and one Isaiah Newcomb, uh, you know, coming off the years of uh, Gunnar Cruz and all those fleet of receivers that he had. Uh, well, Dan, Dan's always been a great player. You know, he is. He's had that greatness inside of him, you know, since he started school here at Castillo. We saw that. And so, um, you know, Gunnar's a great quarterback, you know, uh, left a legacy here. Um, we're excited to have Dane and what he does for us. You know, his leadership on and off the field. He's a great representative of our football program. All right, and then Brock, Brock Dew, obviously, man. He's been absolutely amazing his whole career here. And, and he's only a junior. Yeah, Brock Dew, best lineman in the state. All right, two important things that I really, really got to know about, though. Two important things, because you are the pancake factory over here. I'm bringing the syrup, but I want to know who in the state has the best pancakes. Is uh, it IHOP or Denny's? Or is Man. it somewhere else? You got another place? I gotta say IHOP, that's the place I go to. Hey, what, do you, what, what kind of syrup you put on there? Just the traditional hot maple, the old fashioned? What, what you got cooking on I, there? <laughs> traditional. I like to keep it simple. All right, I like a lot of butter on my pancakes. <laughs> yes, also, I need to know, I know you're doing well in school. I need to know what your favorite classes are right now. I gotta say AP Stats. Why? 
because you're trying to keep these stats up. You want to know how many defensive linemen you pancaking out there, how many yards your running backs are running for, how many yards your quarterbacks are throwing for. Well, I like AP stats because, uh, you know, it's real It's real nice because it's, it's kind of app uh, applicable in life and everything. You can, you can relate anything. It's just, you know, up to you on how AP stats is. I honestly don't even know what stats is, but you said stats, so I'll figure it's statistical and, you know, it's a whole bunch of numbers.